Hey everyone, Vincent here from VincentWin.com and welcome to the third episode of After Effects 101, the series where I teach beginners the basic techniques of After Effects. Now if you haven't already watched part one or part two, click on the video description below and watch part one and part two so you can be more familiar with where things are in After Effects and how to apply effects. And it's kind of hard to continue with this video tutorial and follow along if you haven't already watched the first two parts. So watch the two parts, come back, and we'll begin. But to end this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the basics of animating and keyframing in After Effects. Now this is where all the fun and customization comes into play. This is where, you know, we apply our techniques, and this is where we have fun in After Effects. Now, if you come from a video editor like Vegas or Final Cut, or you come from a 3D modeling program like Cinema 40 or 3ds Max, then you're probably already familiar with what keyframing is and how to use keyframes and everything. You just need to know how to apply it to After Effects, which is a lot easier than, you know, explaining keyframing to someone who's brand new into the industry and never has opened up a video editor or After Effects or a 3D modeling program before. So if you're absolutely new, pay close attention to this. I'll try my best to explain keyframes and everything to you guys. And if not, you guys that already know what keyframes are and how to use keyframes and everything, try to help out and explain to the newbies out there how, what, how keyframes work and how to operate with them. But anyways, we're gonna start fresh in After Effects this time. We're gonna make a new composition. So drag your foot into the new composition button down here. Doing so will create a composition with the same exact settings as your footage as before. So now that we have our composition open right here, let's learn how to animate some text because when you first start off in After Effects, you're probably not going to be animating anything too complex in After Effects other than text when you first start off. So let's go ahead and create our new text. You can either use the text tool right here, but I'm going to go to Layer, New, Text. And that will center our text up right in the middle perfectly like that. And we're going to type in whatever we want. I'm going to type in text 01. I'm going to select the selection tool or click V on the keyboard. And then we can just drag our text to the bottom left hand corner of our composition right here. So we have our text. And if you scrub through the timeline, you can see that our text isn't moving at all. Now, I want to animate this text. Now, unlike iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, you just can't simply drag an effect in and make it fade that easy. Unfortunately, in After Effects, you're going to have to animate and manually create the fade in, fade out in After Effects for anything at all. So keep that in mind. Bear that in mind. So how do we fade text in After Effects? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So make sure that you select your text first. Select your text and hit T on the keyboard. Now, this is a hot key. And you guys need to remember some of the basic hotkeys out there, but hopefully as you progress through this video tutorial, I'll teach you guys some of the basic hotkeys that you'll be using quite often, and hopefully you can remember it as much as possible. So select your text, hit the letter T on your keyboard, and it should bring up the opacity right here. By default, the opacity is at 100%. That means that we are able to see our text, as you see right here. Now, we want to start off with zero opacity because we do not want to see our text. It's going to fade in first. So we need to set a starting point. Keyframes are very similar to directions when you're giving direction to a, a fellow peer or a friend. Say you want to give direction to a coffee shop. You want to say, okay, start here, start at point A, go to point B, and then go to point C. After Effects keyframes are very, very similar to that. First, we need to start a starting point. So to start a starting point, hit the stopwatch right here next to opacity. When you do that, it sets a starting point keyframe right here. So it's gonna start off at 100% right now. This keyframe is 100%. If you double click on it, you can see that it says opacity 100%. Well, we don't want it to start off at 100%. We want it to start from nothing so it can fade in. So we're gonna start by changing the value from 100% to zero. So simply just click in the value and type in zero and hit enter. As you see, our text disappeared because our starting point is at 0%. Now, let's go ahead and create a fade. So we're going to move forward in the timeline to about one second mark right here. This is one second. And from zero to one second, we want our text to fade in. So at this point, at one second, we're going to change the opacity to 100. Notice how we have two keyframes in the timeline now. We have the 0% keyframe and the 100% keyframe. And After Effects connects the point for you. So you just give out two points, you say point A, point B, and After Effects will get to you from point A to point B. You'll fill in the gaps. So as you see here, if I start from 0% and I move forward in the timeline, you see that the value right here increases and our text is starting to show. 
Just like that, we create a simple fade. Now, let's say we wanted our text to display for you know a few seconds and then fade away. We want our text to fade in, stay there for a while, and then fade out. How do we do this? You're probably thinking, okay, just move forward in the timeline and set the opacity to zero percent. And the reason why that's wrong is because you know, right when it gets to 100%, it's gonna fade out. And we don't want that. We want it to stay 100% for a while so we can read it first and then let it fade out. So I'm gonna select this keyframe right here that we just created, and we're gonna hit delete on the keyboard to delete the keyframe. All right, so now we're back to where we started, 0%, fades in to 0.2. Now, 0.3, in order to make it stay here and stay op opaque, we need to set another keyframe for 100%, so it'll stay 100% from point B to point C. Now, in order to do this, simply just hit the little diamond box button right here. Now, when you hit the diamond button, Whatever value is entered right now is going to be a keyframe. So since our value is already 100% and we click the, the add new keyframe, it's going to create another keyframe that's 100%. So from point B to point C, there's no change. They're both 100%. So there's going to be no change. It's pretty much a stopping point. So it's going to come in. It's going to fade in. And then it's going to stay opaque for a second or so. And then now for the fourth point, it's going to fade out. I'm going to create a fourth point and change it to zero. So we have four keyframes right here. We have 0%, fades into 100, stays at 100, then fades down to 0% as so. So if we've RAM preview this, you can see this into live preview. Hit the RAM preview button right here and let it render it out. You see the green indicator right here. That's telling you the progress of the RAM preview. Now, when it reaches the end, you can click on the screen and it's gonna play. And as you can see, our text fades in and fades out, just like we want it. Now, we kinda wanna make it a little longer. So you may want to make, you can click and drag to select and highlight all your keyframes like this. You can move it a little bit further away. So it kinda, the, the gap between the 100% and 100% is longer. So It'll stay opaque for a little bit longer and then fade out. Now, this looks pretty good, but we want to, you know, animate a little bit more for practice. So if you select your text and hit P on the keyboard, it'll bring up the position. Now, position is pretty much the position of the text in your composition. And the first value is the X value. And the second value is the Y value. Now the X value is the X axis and the Y value is the Y axis. And if you know from geometry, the X axis is left to right, the Y axis is up and down. Keep that in mind. We're not gonna animate the Y, we're gonna animate the X from left to right. So we want it to start from the left side and move to the right side a little bit so we get some, some basic movement. So we're gonna start at the very beginning hit the starting point, hit the stopwatch to create a starting point. So it's staying still right now, this is the starting point. And then let's go down to four seconds. And we're going to either click on the text and drag to the right, or you can manually just edit and type in the value. But essentially, we created two keyframes. It starts from the left side and it's going to animate to the right side and once it gets here, it's going to stop. So if we ramp preview this, we see that our text comes in, it fades in, it fades out, and it's moving to the left to right. Remember, don't disregard that we animated the opacity. The opacity animation is still there. So not only is it fading in and fading out, it's also moving to, from left to right because we animated both parameters. Now, if you select your text or layer and hit U on the keyboard, the letter U, twice, you'll see that it brings up all the parameters that you've keyframed. So if you keyframe like 50 things and you hit U on the keyboard, all those 50 things and all those 50 keyframes are gonna show up right here. So as you can see here, our position is right here, our opacity is right here. And the reason why this is important is because if you need to make any modifications, it's right here so you can edit. So you can like drag this keyframe closer here so it moves faster and everything. Now, it's pretty much common sense if you kind of know the basics right now but you kind of need to experiment around with it and see how it works. So I encourage you to open up After Effects and kind of experiment with keyframes. So, so as you can see here, all of our keyframes are displayed right here, and this is how you animate some text. Now, 
Let's not disregard episode two about applying effect. Let's try to apply an effect to our layer right now. So let's go click on our text and let's go to layer, layer styles. And on the very bottom, it says gradient overlay. And this is very similar to Photoshop's gradient overlay. It pretty much gives your text a gradient right here. And as you can see here, I'm gonna move our panel up a little bit so we have more room to work with. As you see here under our text 01, we get a gradient overlay option. Open the drop down, and you can see some basic parameters for the gradient options. We can adjust the colors by hitting edit gradient, we'll bring up our gradient editor, and let's go ahead and change and switch these around. I'm gonna start it at white and end it at black. So we get this kind of metal kind of feel. I'm gonna change the black to a lighter color. Hit OK. And as you can see, our text right here looks a lot different now. But hopefully, I taught you guys the basics of After Effects and the basics of animating in After Effects. Remember to start off with a key point. Start off with a start point, starting point by hitting on the stopwatch. And then animating your point B, point C from there, etc, etc. So hopefully, this is basic enough for you to understand. If you guys understand it, help the others that do not understand at all. And, you know, it's build a community. Help each other out. Because that's what I'm trying to do right now. But... Thanks for watching, guys, for the very basic tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website at www.vincentwin.com where you see a whole bunch of articles. You know, I'll be exposing you guys to so many things like Red Giant People, Trap Code. I mean, it's a really great way to experiment and, you know, get to see, get, get, to, get used to uh, the field of After Effects, get used to what people are doing. Uh, be familiar with all the famous people in the industry, in the uh, production industry, post production industry. Uh, I also have freebies up here. Under products, you can go to free products, uh, free project files. You can mess around with these. Um, you can go to the blog and go under free. We have a whole bunch of design templates and everything from across the web. I mean, this is a really, really great site where you know I compiled a whole bunch of things regarding After Effects, Photoshop, and all that stuff. And I combined it into a site where you can learn and be inspired by a whole bunch of resources across the web. So check it out, VincentWin.com. Really cool stuff. You can also watch all my video tutorials in HD in a larger resolution here on the website under tutorials. Thanks for watching guys. I got a lot of support for all my past AE 101 tutorials. So hopefully I'll get the same feedback for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all the continuous support. Comment, rate, subscribe. Check out my channel for more video tutorials. And thanks for watching guys.